So our video of today comes from a user named Datwin, and he'd like to know how to set up a macOS VM on Windows. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna need is going to be VirtualBox. You can find that at virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. And then you will click on Windows Host here. It'll pop up the download for you to save it. I'm not gonna save it because I already have it installed, but um, I will leave the link in the description down below on where you can go to get VirtualBox so you can get this set up. The next thing you're going to need is going to be WinRAR. Uh, you can get this from rarlab.com slash download.htm. I will leave the link down below. Just go ahead and download your version, whether it be 86 for 32-bit or 64 for 64-bit. Um, you will need this to extract the, the virtual machine image to your computer. So make sure you go ahead and download this before anything else. Next thing you're gonna to need to download is going to be the Mac OS virtual machine itself. And I'll show you that next. And the last couple of things you're going to need are going to be the macOS Catalina virtual file and the Oracle VMbox extensions. I've included both of those in my Google Drive and you can find the link in the description down below. Now that you're here at this point, what you should have done is you should have installed the VMware VirtualBox software. You should have installed the extension pack and you should have uncompressed the macOS VM image file. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set that up. So to do that, you're gonna click on new. You're going to select Mac OS X and you're gonna change the version to Mac OS 64 bit. Now I'm going to name it Mac OS Catalina. You can name it whatever you want. Um, choose where you want this to be set up i'm going to go ahead and choose my d drive where i put all my virtual machines um just make sure to save it wherever just know that uh if you save it on an ssd it's going to boot faster and everything else just like your real computer so once you get there go ahead and click next I am going to set my memory for 4096. That's what I would recommend. As you can see, I have 32 gigs though. So set it for whatever works best for you. If 4096 is, you know, too much, then leave it at the stock 2048 for two gigs. Um, Mac OS really doesn't need a lot to run. At this point, you can go ahead and click next. Here, we're going to use an existing virtual hard disk file. And this is going to be the file. In my case, it's going to be on my file server under software, under OS installs, Mac OS Catalina. Double click there. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then I'm gonna click create. And now we have everything created. So you're like, wait a minute. Can I just start it? No, no, no. There's a few things you need to do first. Now that we're done with that, don't open your VM yet. Don't start it up or anything. Go ahead and click file, then click exit. You want to make sure that VirtualBox is fully closed. And then you're going to click start. You're going to type in CMD. You're going to right click and you're going to run as administrator. At this point, got some codes on the other monitor. Your, I will put these codes down below, but this is where the extension pack comes in useful and you need this to make the virtual machine run properly. So first thing is you're gonna change your directory to program files, Oracle virtual box, and then you're gonna use the VBox manage to change. And you're gonna change this part right here. See where it says Mac OS Catalina? Whatever you named yours, your virtual machine, you're gonna put that name in here in the quotation. So make sure that you do that and then hit enter. 
and then you're gonna do the next one there's about six total that we need to do or seven six if you uh have an intel cpu seven if you have an amd cpu so i'm just going through these one at a time and again i'll i'll include them down below so you can just copy and paste and follow through almost done and this last one this one is only required if you are working with an amd cpu like i am if you're not you can ignore this step oh i didn't i didn't rename it right my bad oops there we go so now what are you supposed to do next so the first thing that you need to do in this instance is you need to go to settings for catalina and you're going to go to system you're going to uncheck floppy you want to make sure that all of this is checked which is great you're going to go to processor I suggest bumping it up to two and then you want to make sure enable PAE slash NX is checked next you're going to go into the display and you're going to turn that all the way up to 128 and then you're going to go to USB and set it for USB 3.0 and that's pretty much it then you're going to click OK Another thing, I did have an issue getting my network to start right off the bat. So if you have that issue, maybe you should try this. Click on settings and then go to your network and then change your network from NAT or NAT to your bridged adapter and select your, you know, select your network card or your wireless card that you're using. That will assign the Mac its own IP address so it won't be sharing your ip from your actual pc and that'll also give you the ability if you want to to set up share so you can share files between the virtual machine and your windows pc for example so if you run into that issue there's a way you can fix it now that we're done with all that you can go ahead and reopen your virtual box manager from here you're going to click start on your mac os catalina virtual box and wait for everything to load this might take a minute and here you go if you did all of your command prompts correct you should get to this screen if you did not you might have to start over from the beginning and make sure you don't miss any steps and this will be just like your first setup on a mac os laptop or desktop all right, so this part, as you can see, it's installing. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. I'm not gonna bore y'all with all of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and we'll come back at the first step. Okay, at this point, you should now be at this screen. There might've been a point where you got to a screen where it was black with a lot of white text, a lot of code essentially, and it was just stuck there. If that happens to you, there's no problem with it the virtual machine tried to reboot and couldn't so just click the x here and then select shutdown and click ok and then up at the top up here click start again and you'll get to this screen once you get here go ahead and choose you know your country i'm going to choose united states then click continue and then here go ahead and click continue I I wouldn't transfer any information if you want to transfer stuff from like your iPhone or something that's fine or from the Windows PC that's fine but I'm going to suggest don't transfer anything um I'm going to set up my Apple ID later and skip cuz I don't have an Apple ID so 
Uh, I'm going to accept the terms and additions and conditions, I mean. So from here, we can just go with... There we go. Create your user account. And then click continue. And then here you're going to go ahead and I usually customize settings. I don't want to enable location services. So I'm going to say don't use. Select your time zone. There we go. That'll work for me because uh, it's in the same state as me. Click continue. You don't really have an option to turn this off so click continue and then again click continue or set up later that's what i would do um here, just choose however you want it to look. I'm going to go with dark because I prefer the dark themes on everything. Click continue. And then we're pretty much on the last leg of this. It might take a second. So no worries. Just wait it out. And there you go. Now, it may not be able to identify your keyboard. So just click continue. And then it's going to ask you here, pretty much click, uh, press down the key that's immediately to the right of your shift button on the left side of the keyboard. So hit Z. And then it's going to ask you for the one on the right. So hit your question mark. And then right here, just click done because you're doing United States. And there you go. Now, You should be able to, for example, open Safari and go to google.com and use it just like your regular Mac OS. Anyway, so this is how I set up my Mac OS virtual machine for any of my testing or when people ask me on how to do things. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, what's your favorite OS, Mac? Linux, Windows. Anyway, this has been Ask a Nerd TV. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.